Flying cars, once merely a dream in sci-fi movies, have now become a reality thanks to China. This isn't a prototype or a far-off concept. It's a real, working machine, and the world is watching. China aims to develop what it calls a low-altitude economy, generating revenue from small aircraft and delivery drones. With its cutting-edge specifications and surprising affordability, the question arises. Will it actually take off? Can cities manage skies buzzing with cars, or will this groundbreaking invention face unexpected hurdles? We will explore its features, cost, and whether the world is truly prepared for the biggest travel revolution in history. Did you ever dream of flying in an unmanned drone? Here it is, soaring above Guangzhou, opening up a new frontier for travel. Xpeng's flying revolution. Crowded cities, packed roads, and smoggy air define a normal weekday. But what if escaping all that was as simple as pushing a button and rising into clean air? Amid this chaos, a Chinese company is attempting something bold. They aren't just talking about flying cars as if they were a sci-fi fantasy, they are building them. One of their biggest breakthroughs is the Xpeng X2, which looks like something from a future we thought was 50 years away, yet it's here now. The Xpeng X2 is an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, EVTOL, meaning it can ascend and descend vertically without needing an airport or even a road. It goes straight up and then flies. Created by Xpeng Aero HT, the aviation branch of the Chinese electric car company Xpeng, this group is based in Guangzhou, Guangdong Province. Xpeng Aero HT gained attention in 2020, supported by Xpeng Motors, with a mission to create electric flying vehicles for Advanced Air Mobility, AAM. It's commendable that Xpeng has chosen zero-emission mobility, prompting a rethink of all transportation methods, and this is definitely one option worth considering. In simple terms, they aim to transform how people move in cities. In July 2021, they unveiled their fifth-generation flying car at a public event in Shanghai, turning heads. Many had never seen anything like it. Sleek, quiet, and clean, it didn't roll in with an engine's rumble but floated into the spotlight. Let's break down the Xpeng X2. It resembles a giant drone more than a traditional car, accommodating two people with space for a couple of bags. Initially launched as the Voyager 2, its teardrop-shaped design enhances flight efficiency by reducing drag, saving energy, and looking sleek. The X2 measures 16.97 feet long, 16.81 feet wide, and 4.47 feet high, comparable to a mid-sized car, but weighs about 680 kilograms with a maximum load of 160 kilograms, including passengers and their belongings. Its lightweight construction comes from an aeronautical aluminum frame, like those used in airplanes, and a carbon fiber exterior, which is both strong and light. Eight rotors, each with its own motor, are mounted on top, ensuring balance and safety. If one rotor fails, the others can keep the vehicle airborne. The X2 connects to networks via 4G and 5G, enabling real-time updates and smooth communication during flight. Performance-wise, it has a range of up to 75 kilometers, roughly 30 minutes of airtime, and a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Sized like an average car, it fits in a garage or parking spot, requiring no special hangers or rooftop pads. On the ground, it's easily maneuverable, placed on four small dollies under the landing gear, allowing one or two people to push it without much effort. Surprisingly manageable for a flying machine. Safety is a priority for the X2, beyond just being a cool flying machine with fancy lights. It uses distributed electric propulsion, meaning each rotor operates independently, so if one fails, others compensate. Multiple backup systems handle potential failures, 
and sensors scan the environment in all directions. The X-2 can return and land autonomously if needed, equipped with real-time video streaming, ground-based monitoring, a 360-degree camera setup, and an emergency parachute. Notably, it produces no gas, fumes, or emissions, distinguishing it from most cars and traditional aircraft. It glides quietly, leaving no pollutants behind, which is significant for cities battling smog and pollution. If you're excited about this technology, hit that like button to keep seeing more breakthroughs. With cities plagued by traffic and noise, this could offer a cleaner, quieter way to travel above it all. While flying vehicles are still in early stages, Xpeng's achievements show this isn't just a fantasy, it's becoming reality. Inside the Xpeng X2, the future doesn't arrive quietly. It comes with spinning blades, glowing lights, and a promise to reshape cities forever. Delving deeper, the Xpeng X2 is designed not only as a personal flying vehicle, but primarily as an air taxi, helping people navigate crowded cities via the sky. It offers two flying modes, manual, for trained pilots seeking full control, and autonomous, the intelligent flight system calculates the safest, most efficient path, adhering to local aviation laws, which vary by country, ensuring compliance whether flying over China or elsewhere. The cockpit prioritizes a high-quality passenger experience, offering a wide, clear view, unlike small car windows, allowing passengers to enjoy the scenery below. The controls and instruments are modern yet user-friendly, with a simple layout resembling a small spaceship. A large floating screen displays maps, flight paths, altitude, and other critical data, enhancing the high-tech experience. Beyond passenger transport, the X-2 could serve other purposes, like sightseeing trips for tourists, medical transport to bypass traffic, or other time-sensitive tasks in bustling cities. This could be more than a luxury. It might shape the future of urban mobility. A test flight in 2022 captured global attention when Xpeng conducted the first public test of the X-2 in Dubai, near Skydive Dubai by the Palm Jumeirah. Approved by the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority, this wasn't a private test, but a public spectacle drawing 150 invited guests, including Chinese consulate members, Dubai International Chamber of Commerce representatives, the Dubai World Trade Center, local authorities, and global press. Though the flight was unmanned, it was a significant milestone. Extensive preparation preceded it, with Xpeng collaborating with the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority and the Sanad Academy on a detailed operations risk assessment, using international standards to create an operation manual and a risk mitigation plan. Safety was paramount, ensuring a secure flight from takeoff to landing. Post-event, Xpeng shared plans for a version optimized for low-level city flights at around 300 feet, though capable of reaching 3,200 feet. With a flight time under 35 minutes, it suits short urban trips. The Dubai test showcased not just technology, but a vision of flying cars integrating into daily life, marking progress for Speng Aero HT and demonstrating to the world that this future is tangible. In 2023, the X-2 achieved another milestone, becoming the first manned EVTOL licensed for flight in China by the Civil Aviation Administration of China, Central and Southern Region. This was a major win for the X-2 project and tied into China's broader vision of a low-altitude economy, encompassing drones and aerial taxis operating below 1,000 meters. This emerging sector is poised to move people, goods, support agriculture, and aid rescue operations with a projected market value of 3.5 trillion yuan by 2035. Backed by policies, investments, and advancing AI, China is rapidly developing this space, with improved human-computer interaction enabling safer, 
more precise flights. Industries like battery manufacturing, motor design, software development, and agricultural tech are contributing to this growing ecosystem. What are your thoughts on this low-altitude economy? Is it promising or concerning? Share in the comments. With the X2 licensed, Xpeng Aero HT plans more manned flights to collect data, aiming for mass production without rushing, marking steady progress toward commercial availability. Xpeng Aero HT isn't stopping at the X2. In 2024, they unveiled the land aircraft carrier, a bold concept combining a road vehicle and a flying machine. The road vehicle, dubbed the Mothership, is a six-wheeled, three-axle unit measuring 5.5 meters long, two meters wide, and two meters tall, larger than most vans, resembling a mix of a sleek minivan and a robust armored truck. Its minimalist design features smooth lines, flush door handles, and no side mirrors, indicating ongoing development. Powered by an extended-range electric vehicle, ear of system, with an 800-volt platform, the engine acts as a generator, enabling a 1,000-kilometer range. The flying component, a large drone-like module, docks atop the carrier, lifting off and landing manually or autonomously. Its six arms and propellers unfold from a compact form to meet size constraints, docking automatically and charging from 30% to 80% in 18 minutes, supporting five to six short flights. This dual-mode vehicle offers unmatched flexibility, combining road and air travel, and reflects Xpeng's long-term vision to redefine transportation. The land aircraft carrier isn't a stunt vehicle. It's built for critical scenarios like medical rescues, accident zones, flood-blocked areas, or high-rise evacuations, where traditional vehicles can't operate. Initially, it will function in controlled zones for public service tasks, proving the utility of flying cars before scaling up. Xpeng Aero HT secured $150 million in Series B funding to refine the vehicle, expand production, and prepare for commercial sales. They're not alone. Lufcar in Orlando, Florida, is developing a hydrogen-powered air vehicle that lifts a land unit, showing a global push for hybrid transport. Originally set for 2025 production, 